Our concern was that if we go out too soon, then whoever committed this gets that information and then a term we use in the police world is they go to the wind, they're gone. And we wanted to make sure that that didn't happen. As questions swirl around who could have impregnated a woman in a vegetative state at Hacienda Healthcare in South Phoenix, Phoenix Police Sergeant Tommy Thompson made it clear today. Have you ruled anyone out? At this point, I don't know that anybody's been ruled out. We're not going to point out who we've obtained DNA from or who we intend to get DNA from. Uh, but suffice it to say, there, it is uh, a large number of individuals that we will gather evidence from. Sergeant Thompson wouldn't go into detail if any DNA collected has been tested yet. He stressed this will be a long-term investigation and results won't come overnight. This is of the highest priority of the Phoenix Police Department. And again, from day one, we've put our efforts into it. We continue to put our efforts into it. He confirmed on Saturday, December 29th, Phoenix Police got the call of a baby who wasn't breathing. When they arrived, they found a woman in a vegetative state and her baby in distress. This woman was unable to move. She was unable to communicate. In other words, she was uh, helpless but she was incapacitated. He says both mom and baby are now recovering at a local hospital. This woman, though incapacitated, is a very, very important member of our community, and our heart goes out to her. This child is an important member of our community, and as police officers, our, our job, our goal, is to protect individuals, to make sure we, we make sure that their rights, make sure that they, they receive justice. And Phoenix police are not doing this alone. Many state agencies are assisting, including adult protective services. But the main message Phoenix police want to get out tonight, if you know any information that could lead them to the suspect, they want you to call 480-WITNESS.